going guys listen we're back and today I'm gonna explain to you exactly how I discovered my frequency operator protocol if that's something we can call it I guess I just call it superhero training but listen I'm gonna tell you exactly how I train why I train uh, or why I train why I train, how I train, that's much better. And how everyone I work with basically just trains the same way and sees amazing results. But I'm gonna tell you how I discovered this stuff. I was, this was during my uh, special forces training, right? And so in, just for some context, I've been in the military. I was in the military. I'm out of the military now, God bless. I was in the military for six years. And during my special forces training there, we, I, I found out that we were doing all this work, right? Because right? we were, going like out with our backpacks and then we were doing a swim and then we were doing push-ups and then we we're doing this and that and this and that and so uh, when we when i got out of that training right i i realized that hey we were doing all of this work and we weren't doing any we weren't over training or anything right our bodies adapted our bodies adapted to it so anyone who would like have insight to what we did there would be like, oh, these guys have been over training. Like any other PT coach, any other bag of milk looking coach, uh, they would see that and be like, hell yeah, that's over training. Oh, and they don't know what they're talking about. Listen, no one knows what over training is. I know what over training is. I do. I was training Muay Thai out in Koh Samui. It's an island out here, outside of here. I was training Mo, uh, Muay Thai there. And I was training Muay Thai three times a day and doing weights too. And one day I was laying on a bench trying to do weights and my nose started bleeding. I hadn't even been hit in the nose. It just started bleeding right, right random, you know? And then the day after I couldn't even last one round on the pads, right? Then we had an issue because I was getting like, <gasps> like that's overtraining, okay? I don't even know if that's overtraining. I don't like saying that's overtraining, but hey, I kind of draw myself into the ground, right? So it's the best, uh, I think that's the, the best, uh, like the best way I could like put a name on that for you guys. But everyone's out there, outside there, out there and going like, oh my God, this is overtraining. Oh my God, Nico, you're training two, three times a day. You're overtraining. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. And I can explain this really simply. Okay. I can explain this really simply. Look at two people, right? And you see, uh, let's say something like it. Actually, I'll say, tell you this. Go in the mirror right now, take off all your clothes and look in the mirror, right? Does that look like a dumb thing? Maybe it is, maybe because you're out of shape, right? But I'll tell you what, your body's not dumb, all right? Your body is very smart. I, I use this example all the time. People in the military, they're like, I even disputed this, like people, like leaders in the military, they were like, oh, well, our body only uh, absorbs this amount of water uh, per minute, so you don't need to drink anything more, right? Okay, well, if that's true, if you are in a scorching desert and you come to water, well, you might as well just take a little sip thing because that's what your body absorbs. No, your body's smart and you're craving to just drink and drink and drink and drink. You think your body's just going to just throw the rest of that water away? No, it won't, right? I'm not saying like that, that's like, let's say if you have to ration water, that you should just drink it all at the same time. That's what I'm saying. Um, but I'm saying that your body is not dumb, right? It knows how to use the stuff you put in it. Obviously, like, look at me. Like, this is what we, why we train, why we put food in our bodies, right? To make our muscles grow, for example. Our bodies know how to use that. They build muscles out of that. And you don't even have to do anything about it. It's just smart like that. So, when I say this, right? Our bodies are smart. Look at two individuals. Me and some, someone else, right? Someone's out of shape, whatever. Doesn't really matter, right? Uh, you know, they can be in good shape too. They can have muscles too. But me and someone else, we can have different recovery rates. Everyone sits there and be like, yeah, you need this amount for recovery, this amount for recovery, and this amount for recovery. No, that's not true, all right? And I, I have no studies on this, except for the man you're looking at right now. I'm the case study. And my man, like my friend, right? He's out there in the living room. He is my case study too. And every single one I work with is my case study for this. Because every single one I train with, they have increased level of recovery. Their bodies adapt way faster and they have more energy during the day. And I discovered this through the special forces training because I, like, we recovered, we were, got used to so much work. And so when I got out of that, I just continued doing the same work. And everyone was like, what the hell is going on? Why are you doing all this? And I'm like, I don't get tired. I don't get tired. And my body's just like, I got leaner, I got more jacked, I got stronger, I got faster, I got more endurance, and I got more shredded too. Like I was, I was looking absolutely crazy. Like, and, and this, uh, I was looking like just a downside version of this because now I've just done that exact same process for the last, how long is it now? Three years? And I've become even bigger. So I've just used the same process and just become even bigger. Uh, 
And it's just done so much for me because at the time when I just started this process of or this um, this protocol that I made, I was uh, playing football, right? And I got I, I was one of the fastest guys on the team, the most endurance guy on the team. But guess what? I was the biggest guy on the team. It's crazy. It's absolutely insane, right? And I'll tell you what too, because I was on a call with a guy today, right? Welcome to the to the team, by the way, uh, Mattis. You know who you are. God bless you, bro. Um, we, me and Mattis were talking, and we were like. This was Matt's point, by the way, and I was like, hell yeah, you're, you're co completely correct when you say this. Because we're looking at all these people, right? They're in the gym, uh, and they're doing like the standard, hey, I go to the gym six times a week, I do this, right? And no one is jacked. No one is jacked, right? It's, it doesn't take a really, really high intelligence to see that something is off with the way people have you know, laid out training, with the way, way all these bag of milk looking. PT coaches are, are doing their training and telling people to train because no one is jacked. No one is jacked, right? And so w w what we look like, unless you're absolutely mentally insane, then you obviously see that there's something, something wrong with that. And so we have, again, like an input-output equation. And we know that from looking at this, that the input is not enough. It must be, right? Because, or there's something wrong at least, because we're looking at this and this is not what we want. We want to be jacked, we want to get girls, we want to gain respect with our bodies, right? We want to look the part. We're professionals, that's what we do. That's what we're doing here on this channel. Welcome to the channel, by the way. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like this video, make sure to share this video, because this is the golden value. This is the new standard for how men operate, all right? Listen, we're not here to look like bags of milk. Go in there and doing about three by 10 stuff. We want to change the game. We want to set a new standard. Not for, you know, not for anyone else, but for ourselves. Themselves, and then people, we can inspire people through that, right? They can look at us and be like, this shit works, right? This shit works. That's what's so beautiful about this. And so, let's go back to the point, right? We look at two, uh, two individuals, and they're doing exactly the same work. And like, when our bodies are smart like that, it learns to adapt, it learns to recover faster. And what that means for us is that, essentially, when we start getting better rates of recovery from our work, because we're doing the right steps, right? we're eating right, we're sleeping right, and th they can be doing exactly the same too, but the way we put up the work, using the frequency, it allows us to out outperform them, and we're becoming winners. I have this great clip by Alex Hormozzi that I want to uh, play for you right now. Uh, I just you know, watched this video and I thought this resonated really well, so I'm going to play that right now and you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. Boom! I share this stuff because I think one of the biggest gifts of surrounding yourself in a championship team. So there's a book by um, Angela Duckworth called Grit, um, which is a good book. Um, but one of the things that uh, they talk about in the book is that one of the best ways to develop grit is to surround yourself with people who have grit. So one of the for sure ways to get better at a skill is surround yourself with people who already have that skill who are ahead of you. And so that's why joining a championship team is one of the best things you can do to understand what is required to win. And so when you're, ch and the, the story that she tells in the book is, uh, swimmers who want to get better at swimming, if you can make the, the state team or whatever of like a championship team, all of a sudden there's standards of work that you didn't understand is what everyone's doing. So you go from like, oh, well, I'm swimming twice a week and that's what you can do to be best in your high school or whatever. I'm making up the, the numbers. But when you go to the championship team, you realize that they do three hours a day, twice a day. And all of a sudden you're like, oh. And it's that same moment I had with Iraq where I was like, Oh, in the same moment my friend had when, when we talked about the social media, it was like, oh. So essentially, what Alex talks about in the clip, right, is once you discover that's an unusual standard, you're like, oh, that's how you do it, right? And that's exactly why, how, when people, like, they try how I train, they like, oh, damn, right? And then, like, when they look in the mirror, they try it for a bit, right, they're like, Holy moly, this is, this is insane, right? This is absolutely insane. And that's why what, what this uh, approach is so cool because you can actually like, see in real time your, your progress. Like it doesn't take really long as opposed to something like a, like a Mike Menser split. That's absolutely horrible, by the way, for someone, some, if you like, guys really want to reach that next level. Not be, just because uh, of uh, the training, but because of the mindset thing. Like you're taking four days off of training. Like, are you lazy? Are you lazy? Sure, it might work. Sure, it might not. But why would you, right? Would you, right? If you really want to reach that next level, it requires something in here too. And so this approach to training where you actually just step up the amount of work, not the, by volume, but the frequency of work, you're actually doing a lot much more for your body and for your total health 
using here and here. And as I said, with the recovery rates. So all these tasks that you have throughout your life, whether you're in a nine to five, whether you're an entrepreneur, whether you are doing like different types of work. Like I did this stuff in the military and I was never exhausted except for like field exercises and stuff. Uh, Cause then you're like awake for like 24 hours plus, right? Anyone that's exhausted from that, you're not, you need a bit of sleep. Um, but just a regular work, running out in the forest, you know, doing some gun stuff. Uh, I didn't get exhausted and I was still able to train th uh, three times a day because I built up such a volume level right uh, Of frequency getting my body used to the recovery It you know the recovery for my body is better than average And so I just built volume and intensity on top of that and I became a freak athlete and now I run ultra marathons 100 Ks plus uh, I run that I look like a Greek god. I'm strong. I'm healthy. I'm flexible and I can do all this stuff and I'm so so grateful that I experienced this um, that I was put through this system because I don't th this is not a system something t someone talks about So I'm here. I'm actually explaining to you something that's really really groundbreaking when it comes to this um, Because it's done so much for me and uh, you know I, I, I want to share that with you guys because it's done so much for the people I uh, I, I work with and uh, the people uh, around me and it's been so amazing, right? Uh, so what am I talking about, right? Just what I said there. I'm gonna bring this up again, right? Maybe you've seen this in a few other videos, but essentially like Usually uh, I'll bring up the triangle again for you guys to see exactly what I'm talking about to put some visuals on this um, So essentially when recovery is better, right? Because usually we think of training in like weekly uh, weekly bulks you can't think of it further too when you're programming in this stuff and you can think of it like way years in, like in advance uh, But usually we program on a weekly basis, right? They were doing this now we're doing this then for example right? And so if we have better recovery rates if we just up the frequency and get better recovery rates get our body used to doing the work What happens over a week right is that we have someone doing th uh, this work and this work like this is Like bad recovery right, right bad all right good Okay, good. So this ex person, right? He's been doing. Hopefully, you guys can see this. He's been doing his frequency work. He's been using my my frequency protocol. And so, uh, once these guys are matched up against each other, and it's like, hey, you 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 you're both doing this, for example. Let's do like a case study for this. Uh, th you're both doing this amount of work, and what happens at the end, right? If they were, were just just let's just keep it simple. If they just did the same work. This person at the end of the week, boom, will be absolutely trashed by then. Like, of course, if the volume and intensity is high enough, then this person will be trashed. Now, what happens when someone is used to this fre frequency of work, even if the frequency is lowered for this, when it comes to like this case study, and the frequency is just so, uh, just like an average uh, frequency for this, the, the volume and intensity, no matter how high, will still, uh, will still make this guy, the guy with good, uh, you know, you know, is doing the frequency thing, good recovery. He will not be as exhausted as this guy. And so, what? And uh, the first guy. And so, if you look at it from a different angle, then, if we were to just like, because this guy is exhausted from this, if we were to like, hey, we can actually do do more. So, boom, right? This guy's exhausted from this, and this guy can actually go on and do more work. And so, what happens? You can imagine this compounding effect of this. Like everyone knows know what compounding is, right? Let's, because uh, you're, you're doing, you're doing like more work than everyone else. And so let's say six weeks later, um, while this guy has basically, let's just say, he's doing X, he's doing X amount after, um, X, after six weeks, you're doing like double what he's doing. And so can you imagine the progress you've made after those six weeks? Just because you've just been doing more input output equation, right? And that's the power of this. We're actually outperforming everyone else. And so this is actually a really, really good way to like separating yourself from um, looking like a bag of milk and really going out there and looking like a top tier specimen of a man, right? So you can get the girls, you can get respect, you can get yourself laid, you can get yourself paid because I'll tell you what guys, in this game, in, in this game of life, looking the part is so important. It's so important. Having a physique and going out there and building a good physique is a business card, okay? 
Each and every time someone looks at you, they know that you're disciplined. They know that you're committed. They know that you're consistent. That's the power of this. And so we can't go around and be like settling for average if we really want to separate ourselves from, uh, from this and really look like, look like absolute specimens. We can't just settle for average. We got to think differently. And this is the way. This is the way that's worked for me. And I'm so glad to be here and sharing with you with this, uh, sharing this with you. Um, so just guys, if you guys want to get started on this, by the way, I have a you know, coaching offer. Go down in the, 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 in the description right now, click the link and book a call with me and I'll see how I can help you out, okay? Regardless if you wanna improve your cardio, build muscle, whatever it is, you should book a call with me right now, okay? Just like everyone else is doing and you're seeing amazing progress, okay? And if you guys wanna go out there and try this for yourself, up the frequency of work right now. This is how you make it happen and you'll see amazing results, all right? And I'm gonna leave you with that. Take care, vroom, 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 vroom. This is in the notorious one, the action man. Look at this shirt, by the way. Take care and God bless. Boom!